So as every new poll comes in for the 2024 presidential election, it keeps getting better and better for Donald Trump. And even CNN is having to admit things do not look good for Joe Biden. So in the latest release of new polls amongst registered voters, and that's really important because this is where you get the most accurate results when you're looking at those registered voters. And this is from SSRS. We are seeing a massive gain by Donald Trump. So I'm going to play you the clip here where CNN is kind of having to swallow their pride and report this news to the people. I'm going to let you watch CNN do just that. And then afterwards, I'm going to share with you the map, which is showing if the election was taking place today, what it would look like. And the results are obviously very good. So let's first play the clip. 5 a.m. here in Washington, where we have new CNN poll numbers this morning in two critical battleground states. The news is not great for President Biden and his campaign. The numbers show Donald Trump leading in both Georgia and Michigan. In Georgia, a state Biden carried by a very narrow margin in 2020. Registered voters say they prefer Trump over Biden by 5 percent. In Michigan, which Trump won in 2016, but Biden carried in 2020, our poll now showing Trump 10 points up. Note that a full 10 percent of those polled in each state say that they wouldn't support either. I really hate the way that they put their numbers here on their thing. It's just so confusing to look at it. You can see there the GA is Georgia. So 44% of registered voters would vote for Biden in Georgia. 49% would be voting for Trump. This gives him a 5% lead. This is pretty massive, especially when you're talking about a poll, because usually the Republican side, the conservative side sort of gets the the shaft on the poll end. So, but 5% lead right now is huge. For Michigan voters, 40% of registered voters voters would be voting for Biden. Right now, 50% of registered voters in Michigan would be voting for Trump. That is huge. That is a massive number, especially again for a poll like this. Either candidate. <clears throat> Trump's margin over Biden is significantly boosted in both states by people who say they did not vote in 2020. These less engaged voters favored Trump by 26 points in Georgia and 40 points in Michigan. So clearly, as every new poll comes out, it just keeps getting worse and worse for Joe Biden and better for Donald Trump. And in this case, we're seeing two battleground states, Georgia and Michigan, which are moving further in Donald Trump's favor. But let me show you the national map and what the projected vote would look like if it happened today. So here it is. And I actually think that this map is being generous for Joe Biden because we just saw the latest numbers right here is Michigan. Michigan's registered voters right now are giving a 10% lead to Donald Trump. And you can see that they have it in the light pink here on this version of the map, which actually is showing you that, again, they're being generous for Joe Biden here. This should be almost a deep red color at this point. And you can see Georgia down here, they have is a deep red color. But if the election was held today, Trump would get 250 secured votes easy with 51 likely going to him. This would be an easy win, especially when you're putting information like this out based off of polling, because almost always it looks better for the Democrats and it really ends up being much better for the Republicans later on. So this would almost be a landslide at this point with a map that looks like this, Donald Trump would easily win over Joe Biden. And again, as we continue to see these numbers coming out, these polls coming out, the gap just continues to widen between these two. So the question is, are they actually going to run Joe Biden? I think they're waiting to see what each of these polls look like. And as each one comes out, I think eventually they're going to try to make the decision. In addition, they're trying to see how all these court cases are going to pan out for Donald Trump as well. Are they going to actually be able to keep him off of the ballots through some miracle of one of these court cases or th through the corruption that they're trying to institute here in the United States of America? Now, obviously, that's not going to happen. And I don't think the polls are going to get better for, for Joe Biden. Maybe you might see a poll here or there get better. I mean, if you see gas prices go a little bit lower or inflation looks better job numbers look better. This could sort of fudge the numbers just a little bit in his favor, but I don't think it will get better enough. So at some point, will they say, hey, Joe, you, you got to drop out. It's not looking good. You're not actually going to win this thing. And will Joe listen to them? Will he actually listen to what his handlers are going to tell him to do? Or is he going to just stubbornly move forward as the person who's going to run against Donald Trump. It's going to be interesting to watch this. I mean, it's at least exciting nonetheless. But right now, the most likely matchup is Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And right now, the most likely result is an easy 
Donald Trump victory in 2024. So we will keep our eyes on this. And when any new polls come out, we will share it with you. If that sounds like something you would like to hear about, consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you come along with us. Leave your comments below. What do you think about this? Are you seeing this sort of same information in your own state? Love to hear about it. I'll catch you on the next video.